Waldfield here. Today I am going to beat Super Mario Bros a full 5 seconds faster than the previous world record. Ok let's start the video. So the beginning starts out the same, obviously. Run right, and time all of the jumps carefully. Pretty easy so far. You might be wondering why I'm stopping to get the 1 up. It looks slower, but spawning it actually prevents a few other sprites from spawning, so it saves time overall. As for the Super Mushroom, that doesn't affect spawns unfortunately, which is why most speedrunners skip it, but it does enable some strats in later levels. I'll point them out when they come up. A lot of speedrunners want to know, which saves more time. Grabbing the flagpole high, or low. I've done a lot of testing, and the answer is actually... They're the exact same. Ok on to world 1-2. Once again I have to sacrifice a second tier, to get a power up, but it will save time soon enough. Don't worry, I'll point it out. See those blocks I'm breaking? Every time you do that, Mario skips a frame in his animation, so if you do it enough, they add up to a few seconds off your time. It's like the arm pump in Super Metroid. But much harder. Right there, did you see that? How I got hit by the plant. That's what speedrunners call a damage boost. Huge time saver. It's too bad this isn't a game like Ninja Gaiden, where you have a huge life bar, and can do a ton of damage boosts in every level. The warp zone is a great strat, but I'll admit I can't take credit for discovering it. Actually, it was my friend Brian. He showed it to me, when I visited his house in elementary school. So all of these speedrunners have him to thank. Brian. With a Y. Look him up. Maybe put his name on the wiki. Here comes a damage boost. Got it. Now I just need to manipulate Lucky 2's drops by holding the up button. The only hard part about that strat was figuring it out. But I did. I figured it out. Ok time for some 4-2. Notice between levels, how I have 5 lives. This number manipulates the game's RNG, in my favor. Everything runs on a universal timer, which gets multiplied by year life total, so if that number is 5, everything ends in either a 5 or a 0, so you always know when to expect the bullet bills and fireballs. I just need to do some farming here to get the fire flower back. It lets me save 4 frames, when I climb the vine. About the vine, unlike the last warp zone, this one actually was discovered by me. Back in the 80s. Unfortunately I do not have proof, so you will simply have to trust me. In those days, we didn't have recording software yet. My dad had a camcorder but I wasn't allowed to use it. A lot of novices find World A difficult, but not me. The trick is to manipulate the way the screen scrolls. You don't always want to hold run, and you don't even always want to hold right. It sounds counterintuitive, but making the screen scroll slightly slower at times actually speeds up your run, by changing a few things that are happening off screen. You'll also notice that I'm throwing a lot of fireballs, even when they don't hit anything. Not just in this level but through the whole run. The reason for this is simple. Lag reduction. Ok coming up is the hardest part of the game, I need some quiet time. Phew that was close. Every part of that is frame perfect, and if you're off by even a little, the whole run is ruined. I've been practicing that section a lot though. I mean a whole lot. So much that it affected my dreams. And with that, 8-1 is a thing of the past. Now is a good time to read some donations. We have $40 from Lakarati. It says, I lost a cousin to cancer last year and I lost a brother to cancer last month. I know that's not what you're raising money for, I just wanted to let you know. Thank you. Here is $200 from Barack Obama. 
It says, keep up the fine work, citizen, and don't worry about your taxes this year. We got you covered. With hugs and kisses from your friends at the White House. Thank you. Here is $15 from Dirty Potter. It says, smother me with dicks. Thank you. The total so far are $800 for saving the animals, and $2,000 for letting them die. Gosh, that is cold, people. Don't you care? About the animals? I'm almost up to 8-3, which I had difficulty perfecting for a long time. I had my strats figured out, but the execution was nearly impossible. Then one day I was watching a Contra speed run and I noticed the player switch the way he held the controller for one level. Then it hit me. I need to hold the controller differently for A3. So, what I do now is, and this is only for A3, put my right hand on the D-pad and my left hand on the buttons. Try it. It really works. People ask me, why do you always stop to kill the hammer bros? Why don't you just run past them? Wouldn't that be quicker? The answer is... You actually can't run past them. They hit you with their hammers if you try. People also ask me, why do you get the fire flower here when you already have one? The answer is... For the sweet thousand point bonus. A lot of the work I put into this run isn't even visible on screen. For instance, throughout 8-3, I tap the select button every time the game's clock reaches a primary number. Again, this is for the sake of RNG manipulation. Here we are at 8-4, the last level in the game, and probably the hardest. I need serious time until I defeat Bowser, so let's all just be silent for about two minutes. Ha ha ha, just kidding this level is easy for me. The secret is to use buffer strats. This way, no matter what happens, you always move in a way that protects you. Actually, the buffer strats kind of trivialize the whole level. It gives you time to think about other things in your life. Speaking of which, I should give she hulk a call. No, stay focused fielding. You have a world record to make. Many players have difficulty remembering which pipes in this level are the right ones to take. There's actually a very simple mnemonic for that. Recite the following when you play this level. Whenever you pass a lava pit, take the pipe right after it. Do not take the ones before or in the middle, and what's more. When you are atop a pipe, just hit down, not left or right. Otherwise you won't move through it. You'll waste several frames, your run will be ruined. RIP, the run, is what you'll be saying. Your Twitch popularity will start decaying. Your subscribers will leave one by one. You'll no longer make 250 a month. You'll be forced to learn an actual skill. As in, a skill that an employer will be willing to give you a salary for. Like washing the dishes or mopping the floor. So for all of these reasons don't forget. Manipulate the RNG by holding select. And that's time. Stop the timer. Woo, I did it. 4 minutes and 53 seconds baby. I knew I could do it. I knew I had it in me.